Welcome to SST College of Arts and Commerce. Myself, Maithili Gauri Shankar. Today we are going to see TY become computer system and the application to e-commerce topic. What is e-commerce? Electronic commerce is a is the process of doing business electronically. It involves the automation of variety of business to business and business to customer transaction through reliable and secure connection. So everyone is having the smartphones. We are already having the use of electrical business in our hand. Most of them are getting the product through electronic devices and already having many benefit of returning policies and exchanging policies etc and also for the world device we are getting offers also. So through e-commerce the business was developing very much and we are having multiple options to select the product. Features of e-commerce are ubiquity means found everywhere. It is not found in the one place. Same item we can compare in different websites. E-commerce is available just about everywhere. With e-commerce it is possible to shop from desktop at office, at home even when you are traveling. There is no need to visit the physical marketplace and our time will save according to the decision. Global reach. E-commerce technology permits commercial transaction to cross the national boundaries and can reach to any corner of the globe. So from India we can order any product from America or Europe. The transaction of money is also easy through e-commerce. So it is universal standards. One unusual feature of e-commerce technology is that the technical stands of the internet are universal standards. They are shaded by the nationals, nations around the world. Richness. It refers to richness in providing information to the customer. Information about a product is provided to customer by audio or video. So every features of the product what we are searching we can get in the e-commerce mode. Interactivity in e-commerce between the merchant and consumer or customer happens through video chat or SMS or any other mode of communication through e-commerce or any other platform. Communication with me in email or online chatting also possible. Information density. Internet is making information more useful and important than ever. Information becomes more plentiful, less expensive and of higher quantity and quality. So wherever we are sit sitting we can get the information in that place to decide the product to purchase, what are the features available in that and what are the updates available in this. Personalization. Merchants can target their marketing messages to specific individual by adjusting the message to a personal name, interest and past purchase. So according to the product transaction, we can have the individual details and we can send their important and also their interest product to make them purchase and to select the product. Social networking merchant can allow the user to create and share content in the form of text, video, music or photos with worldwide community. Whatever the customer or consumer having the feedback also uploaded and it was seen by every people 
and it is helpful for the people who are purchasing and seeing the reviews and to decide to purchase using this form of communication users are able to create new social networks and strengthen existing one and also the person who having interest in knowing the updates also can be in touch with the social networks what is the difference between e-commerce and e-business e-commerce there is commercial transaction involving exchange of value or money e-business is digital enabling or enablement of transaction and processes within a firm involving information system under the control of the firm does not include commercial transaction types of e-commerce raw material supplier that will goes to manufacturer manufacturer will produce the material that will go to distributor till this we will say b2b business to business when it is going to retailer and consumer it will be saying business to consumer or customer types of e-commerce as we seen in the chart business to customer it is a form of electrical commerce in which products or service are sold from a firm directly to the customer for example in amazon.com from the dealer the product was selling to the customer so it is easily reached to the customer directly business to business it is the form of electronic commerce in which the product or service are sold from the firm to another firm it is performed in much higher volumes than b to c business to customer for example shop together dot com where the business to business happens another one customer to customer it is the form of electronic commerce in which products or service are sold from one customer to another customer with the help of online market mark makers such as auction site ebay so we can face the auction and we can alert our or fix our product and we will get according to the result so for example it is happening in ebay.com peer to peer business also happens it is in the form of electronic commerce in which user can share files and computer resource directly without having to go through a central web server bittorrent.com so directly peer to peer the sharing is happening in bittorrent.com next we are going to see different types of business models advertising revenue a website that offer its user contents service and our products also provide a forum for advertisement and receives fees for advertisers so all together having the service of all together from the start to advertisement if it is having means that is advertisement or advertising review website those are able to attract the greatest view viewership are able to charge higher advertising rates for example in yahoo when you are putting yahoo.com we will have with the opening of yahoo page many advertisement are there next one subscription revenue a website that offers its user contents or service charge a subscription fee for access or to some or all of its offering they may charge monthly annually subscription fee the contents they are giving are differ according to the subscription so for example in netflix you can see there is the subscription revenue you want to compulsory sub subscribe in some of the application in google we can use storage till 15 gb free after that you want to get the subscription 
so free google is there and also subscription google is there similarly in whatsapp every most of them is having the account of free some of them having private account which is business account they want to subscribe for that in subs subscription revenue we are also having such site must be high value added premium offering that neither is ready available elsewhere nor easily replicated the example is consumer reports dot r where we want to subscribe for its uh, getting the service from them transaction free revenue a company receives a free for executing the transaction for example ebay provides an online auction marketplace and receives a small transaction fee from the seller if the seller is successful in selling the item sales revenue companies derive revenue by selling goods information or service to customer for example it is available in amazon applicate revenue sites that steer business to an applicate revenue a referral fee or percentage of your revenue from any resulting sales example it is having in my points major b2c means business to customer models or portal portals offer user powerful web search tool as well as an integrated package of content and service such as news email calendar shopping music downloads video streaming and more all in one place today there are market as places where customers will want to start their web searching and hopefully stay a long time to read news find entertainment and meet other people so portals do not sell anything directly portals generate revenues preliminary by charging advertisers for ad placement collecting referral fee for steering customer to other sites and charging for premium services e tailor e tailor is an online retail store customer has to connect to an internet to check what is available with e tailor and place an order some e tailor are division of existing physical stores whereas the other operator are only in the virtual world the e tail revenue model is sales revenue another major b2c models are content provider content provider distribute information content such as digital video music photos text and artwork over the web content providers make money by charging a subscription fee the subscription fee can be monthly or yearly etc even it can be micro payment system charges will depend upon what you download so as in netflix few content providers do not charge for their information for example many newspaper and magazines user can access news and information all these sites without paying a rupee these sites make money through advertising referral fee etc however nowadays free content is limited to headlines and text whereas premium content in depth article or video delivery is sold for a fee transaction broker sites that provides transaction for customer and earn revenue are called transaction broker the largest industrial using this model are financial service travel service and job placement service the online transaction bro broker primary aim is to saving of money and time in addition more transaction broker provide timely information and opinions sites such as monster.com offer job search a national marketplace for their talents nowadays many 
job searching website are available. Online stock broker ya charge commissions that are considerably less than traditional brokers. Transaction brokers make money each time a transaction occurs. In next lecture we will see security of e-commerce. Thank you students.